Hello and welcome to Amazing Grace Reviews. I am the Amazing Grace and today we are going to get into the second episode of Tea Time where I am trying Blue Ribbons 48 Tea Samplers from Amazon. First I'm going to pick the five I'm going to try without looking and then we will get started. I'm very interested to try some teas. Alright, so here we go. Tea number one is number two Earl Grey Black Tea Lavender. Number three Herbal Tea Pomegranate and Raspberry. Number four. Oh, it's a cold brew. And it is an English classic iced tea, unsweetened black tea. I need one more. Wow. Oh. Earl Grey black tea straight. I think we got some interesting ones this time. I remember the last episode I said was I wanted to find a black tea that I like because the Lapsang Sujong was not it for me. So, in this episode, we will be trying 100% pure black tea, English breakfast decaffeinated. Earl Grey black tea, lavender, a herbal tea, pomegranate and raspberry, a cold brew, which is what we're gonna have to put in cold water, English classic, and then the actual original Earl, Earl Grey without the lavender black tea. All right, this should be interesting. So our first tea is going to be English breakfast decaffeinated. Get that close up. Okay, so this is a 100% pure black tea. Enjoy the smooth, full body taste of this classic tea any time of day. The ingredients is just decaffeinated black tea. Hmm. Okay, I'm very interested to see how this one's gonna be. I don't know how I feel about it being decaffeinated. Uh, well, actually, that's actually probably not bad because I really don't drink caffeine. So if the ca decaffeinated means it doesn't have any caffeine in it, so I guess that's fine. Let's try the smell. It smells. It's it's it just smells like tea or I guess a black tea or like a regular tea you find in the store. Okay, time to brew. Alright, it has been brewed, now, let's see this color, this is a nice, it's a nice black tea, this is exactly what I thought it would look like, it's like a, a woody brown color, this, this is still steaming, it's a woody brown color. I hope I'm not messing up on the mic. Yes. The smell. It smells like a black tea. It smells like it smells like it looks very woody. It actually smells pretty good. All right. Let's try. Dang, that was already a minute. Hmm. This is actually pretty good. I honestly didn't think it was gonna be bad. Okay. This is a different, a definite different black tea than Lapsang Sujong. Yeah, I get more of a like it's very smooth. It's a smooth tea. It has kind of like a a sting to it, like at the end, where it's like a hmm. Oh man. I hate to say this, but I just feel like if it had just a little bit of sugar, it would be it would be off the chain. Like I, I feel like it would be, it would be great if it had just a little bit of sugar. But I would say okay, so I would rate the tea. Um, the texture is very smooth. I would rate the taste as 
like it's very flavor like not flavorful as in like it's flavorful as in it kind of hits your mouth but in a nice way like it's a this is actually a nice black tea the color is great this is a great i would say this is a great black black tea and i would give this um a four out of five just because it is definitely better than the other black tea that i've had so far and i definitely could see myself drinking this but i wouldn't drink it straight i it, it feels like it just needs a little sweetener and i try not to say that but it's just like it, it kind of does need a little sweetener for it to really go to all the way but even just without the sweetener it has that it has that kick and this actually says that this can be for any time of day and i actually do believe that this tea feels like it could be drank at any time of day and it's very it really is what it says on the package it's very full smooth body taste and that's really all i can pretty much say because honestly besides it feeling like like tasting like actually let me see i don't know what to describe but it's like this strong taste i guess it kind of could be that booster for you i guess but okay four out of five four out of five so the next tea we're going to try is another black tea this one is this one is an earl gray black tea sit down and relax with the smooth taste of this warm inviting tea lavender and this tea is black tea natural bergamot flavor with other fl natural flavors and lavender I'm very interested to see how this black tea is going to pan out for me. Let's smell. Oh, I can, before I even put it to my nose, I can smell the lavender. Oh, this smells really, really good. I think I'm going to like this tea. All right. Let's give it a brew. I didn't even push this button. Oh wow. I never even pushed that button. Alright, so it is steeped. Let's check for the color. Okay. This one's more orangey. I'm trying to see if the camera can pick that up. Is it definitely a more orangey color? It smells of magnificent lavender. I feel relaxed already. Lavender really is like a relaxing type of thing. For the taste now. Hmm. Okay. So with okay with the smell i would say the lavender like when i told you when i first opened the packet like i could smell the lavender coming from it before i even smelled it just with the whiff in the air and i could also smell it just coming from this cup and as i taste it it's extremely strong like, the lavender is very very strong if you watched my last episode, I had one with lemon and ginger, and I thought the ginger was gonna overpower, and it didn't. And I feel like the lavender in this is overpowering it, but I'm, I don't think it's a bad thing. But I also think it's too much for me. Time for rate and review. So the texture, the textures of these are smooth. This is very smooth. It goes down the throat very easily as soon as it hits your mouth you get the lavender from front to back is lavender front to back honestly i wouldn't even be able to tell that this was a black tea if it wasn't for how strong the because black tea if this lavender was in green tea it would be i feel like um it would be a lot smoother on the finish but like that black tea always hits you in the back but it's like with the lavender the lavender is hitting you in the back the front and the back and the black tea hits you in the back with the lavender so you you also tell it's a black tea i feel like this is like an afternoon tea 
I may be wrong, but I feel like this is a very afternoon tea. The color is very nice. I like the orange color, a, a dark orange like color. Every time I get it and uh, drink it, the lavender just hits you so, so hard. So I would say if you're a fan, if you're a fan of lavender or like mixed teas, this tea is for you. I would say this tea is definitely for you. I think people who like lavender would really love this tea. For me, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 just because I just don't like when certain flavors are overpowered when it's just too much. I like when they're perfectly blended together to where it's not too much lavender, it's not too much black tea where it's like they kind of marry. But I feel like lavender stole the spotlight and like I said, it's not a bad thing. If it's for you, it's for you. But for me... The lavender just a little bit too overpowering and i also don't think this needs anything like the lavender kind of takes care of um any type of you know contents you might want to put in tea like this actually is a good standalone tea so i will give it that actually no well, i'll give it a 3.5 just because i don't feel like i need to add anything to it it's just the lavender is just too overpowering for me that i have to take it down a half a point so a 3.5 for the Earl Grey Black Tea with Lavender. Tea number three is going to be an herbal tea. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing. Pomegranate and Raspberry. It is naturally caffeine-free, a full-flavored herbal tea made with natural sweet flavors of pomegranate and raspberry. So what is in this tea is rose hips, hibiscus, natural pomegranate, and raspberry flavors with other natural flavors orange leaves apple pieces uh licorice root roasted chicory root all right so this one should be interesting um i am a huge raspberry fan i don't believe i've had pomegranate if i have i don't remember so but i'm very interested to see how this is gonna taste so let's smell it let's see what i smell before i smell I can kind of smell it from here. Okay, let's see. There's not a lot in this one. I love the way herbal teas smell. It smells very raspberry. I can smell pomegranate too, but I also don't, I don't recognize a pomegranate smell, so I can't really tell you it smells like it. it smells really nice. Okay, time to brew. I can smell it already. I can, I, I'm more likely I'm gonna add this to my collection. I feel like I'm gonna be adding a whole bunch of herbal teas to my tea collection. I'm trying to find some pure tea. I'm a, I, I feel like I'm not gonna find any real pure teas that I like until I try loose leaf tea. It's just, it's hard to find a good pure tea bag that's not added, but we'll see. So the tea is brewed, and as it was brewing, I could just smell the raspberries. So let's show you the color. Oh, it smells so good. Look at this pretty. It's like a, I want to say it's like a, it's not, it's red, but it's also like a pinkish red, but it's more red than pink. It's a really pretty color. And as I was saying, it just smells like I could smell it from over here. It just, it's, I can kind of smell, I can smell the pomegranate because it smells different from raspberry. Oh, pomegranate is a pretty smell. I've never described the smell as pretty, but it's very pretty. It's like pomegranate is a pretty smell with raspberry. Let's see how it tastes. Okay. Yeah, it's very tangible, like. It's very light. It's very light goes down so easily it tastes exactly how it's described if you're a fan of raspberry and pomegranate this is for you oh my god it tastes like flowers like it like all i can picture is a meadow but yeah, it, it definitely tastes like raspberry like raspberry is very like the same way but it's not too overpowering but it's it's meant to be like fruity it's meant to be all these things that i'm describing but it's exactly what it is this this is a very delicious herbal tea I feel like it's hard to go wrong with an herbal tea because it's like literally made to be good or it's supposed to be made to be good. It's, it's made to, to mix flavors that complement each other to me. So um, you can't go wrong with an herbal tea, I guess. Um, I would definitely give the texture. Uh, it's very smooth and light. I would definitely drink this again. 
it's sweet just like the fruits it tastes exactly as described the color is amazing i already said the color was the color is probably my favorite well it is my favorite of this episode so far i love like pretty light colors of tea i would give this tea a four out of five and only i'm i'm giving it a four out of five and not a five out of five because this is not i would only give five out of five to teas i could drink all the time and even though it is good i wouldn't drink this all the time but i definitely would drink it again on to the next tea so now we are on to our fourth tea i'm going to do this one next this is the last black tea of today. I'm excited to see how Earl Grey is by itself. So this is a Earl Grey black tea. Brightens up your day with the distinctive taste and aroma of its classic tea. This has the ingredients in this tea is black tea, natural flavors, and bergamot peel. Okay, it tastes like the first Earl Grey, but without the, the lavender. Now I can like really see how the Earl Grey smells like it's going to be strong. But let's find out. The tea is brewed. See what this color looks like. But I can kind of guess it's probably going to be. It's going to be between orange. It's going to be orangey brown. Okay, about the same. Yeah, about the same as the other black teas. The orangey brown. Go rustic. Let's smell it. Yeah, it smells. It smells exactly like the other black tea, but without lavender. So I can really take, I can really smell the, I can't, how do you discern? It's like a, I don't want to say tangy. Cause I don't know if that's the right word I'm trying to use, but it's like this potent smell that I know I'm going to taste as well. Cause I tasted it the last tea. So now let's taste it. Okay. So once again, <laughs> okay it's not as bad i feel like i prefer this like this without the lavender i feel like this the earl gray maybe it's my taste buds okay as we're going on this black tea journey um i'm discovering that it's just hard for me to like black tea that's really why i gave up black teas a long time well black tea a long time ago uh because it's just hard to find one that doesn't need to me you know something added or whatever because it's just really really strong like black anything black coffee usually need a little extra for me but with this one i feel like without the lavender attached it can just stand alone and be the thick like tea that you need like it's very it's very thick to me like it fills your mouth it's very strong but it's not a bad strong i would just say stand alone i can probably take this better than this like the level of black tea and the level of lavender at the same time kind of pushes it to here but with it by itself it's just kind of here so it's still strong and it actually is a standalone i don't i still stand by even with the lavender that this doesn't need anything added i feel like you can drink this straight and it will probably wake you up it, it really like this and the lavender tea like the earl grays feel like it is like a brighten your day type of thing i would say the texture of it is very it's smooth and thick so it's smooth but it's thick like it really punches you in the mouth like you can tell that this is an earl grey black tea or like just a black tea it really punches you in the mouth of like how thick it is as a tea taste it's actually not that bad it's it's just very strong it's a strong tea black tea is a very strong it's a strong it has a tangy like it kind of leaves that nah, like you know type of thing that happens and the color the color is like all the rest of the black teas like they i feel like the earl grey is kind of similar in color i might have to put up a side by side to see but uh i feel like they about look the same to me in color i definitely will give this one a 
four out of five. I could definitely take this one more than the one with the lavender because it's just by itself. So I'll give this one a 4 out of 5. It definitely does have a distinctive taste and aroma. Like, I knew exactly when I tasted it and when I smelled it that this was black tea. On to our last and final tea, which is a cold brew. So I'm going to get some cold water. For our last tea, I am going to be using... I'm just going to use this because we have a cold brew iced tea. So this cold brew iced tea is an English classic. It's an unsweetened black tea. So actually, this is a black tea too. So we really just had a black tea fest today after saying that I needed to try some more black teas. And it was nonchalant too. I didn't even try. But okay, the ingredients in this is black tea, black and green tea extracts, natural tea flavors, and other natural flavors. So with this tea, we got to steep it for five minutes. And it says add ice and sweeten if desired. I'm gonna go add some ice to this cup. I have some ice water, but I'm gonna add a few ice cubes to this cup and we will get started. I got some ice. So let me smell it first. It smells pretty good. It smells like a black tea, but it also smells like, I can tell like it's something in it too. It doesn't smell like straight. It doesn't smell like Earl Grey black tea. Let's put it that way. We're gonna let this steep for five minutes. I'm going to mix it as it does it. So, I've let it brew for five minutes. I'm going to I'm gonna take the bag out. Oop. So, now that the bag's out, the color of this tea is a very brown, regular black, unsweet, it's a black tea. And I feel like it looks like any, a regular, um, you know, black tea that I would have. I'm not going to put it in the other cup because it's a nice tea, so we can just drink it after I smell. I also feel like it's, it's hard to smell cold tea. I don't smell, I don't really smell like a smell because it's cold, so... Okay, let's just drink it and see if I need to sweeten it or not. Woo, all right. Wow, 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 wow. I hate to say it, I hate to say it, I hate to do it. Let me try one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time before I say something. I really tried to give it a fair shot, but I can tell you right now, it's not, it's not a bad tea for people who like sweet teas or cold brew teas, but I'm just not a fan of a cold brew tea if it's not green tea to me. It's hard for me to, to, to like black teas because this definitely does need a sweetener. It's definitely not something you can have without sweetener. And it does say English classic unsweetened black tea. And it says, you know, add ice and sweetener if desired. But it's definitely desired. I would say this is not a bad tea as in the way I mean, it's not a bad tea as in the way teas are tasting or were supposed to taste. I feel like if this was an English classic that was hot, I would probably feel totally different, like probably the complete opposite because of the flavor. The flavor is there. It's just overpowered because the coldness is distracting me. I feel like the cold distracts me from a lot in this tea. Uh, it needs sweetener. And it's like the tea, I don't know if it's the way I brewed it or what, but it's like maybe this is a type of like cold brew teas usually. I actually don't really know. Like my dad will make a whole pot full of tea that he would cold, he would eventually. Like my dad would make a whole pot full of one bag of a one tea bag tea, a whole pot, and then put it in the refrigerator and let it chill that way and sweeten it. And I feel like that I would prefer that over just putting the tea bag in cold water. It's parts of the tea or parts of the water that's less potent than others. And then when you get some of the tea, like when you get the potentness of the tea, I feel like it's too strong to be in cold water. But that's for me. I feel like there are people who like cold brew teas and that's fine. Um, I wouldn't prefer black tea to be cold. I just feel like black tea is too strong to be cold. Or at least in this sense, like it's, it's too strong to put one tea bag in however many ounces of water this is and expecting it to be 
a good tea for me. I would give this tea a two out of five, only because it's not a bad tea, it's just, I feel like it's just too potent. It's too potent and there's a little bit of water and I just don't feel like ice does tea justice because with the warm water, like the, the warmth of, of hot liquid kind of smoothens it out and I feel like that's what I, I don't have in this tea. This is not a smooth tea. It's a cold tea, but it's not smooth. I feel like the cold kind of kind of takes away from it, if I can say. Like it, you kind of more, your, your attention is more on the, the fact that it's cold than that it's a tea. And so for that, I'll give it a two out of five. All right, so that will conclude episode two of Tea Time with Amazing Grace Reviews. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I would say, out of all the teas I've tried today, the winner is probably definitely going to be this herbal tea. I would definitely add this to my collection, the pomegranate and raspberry. That is my favorite tea out of this episode, for sure. But I would say for the four black teas that I've tried today, I would prefer to drink out of all of these teas. I would say this tea is probably the smoothest that I tried and liked. In third place, I would give to just the plain Earl Grey tea. So <laughs> there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I will be coming at you a week from now with another episode if you like this video click the like button if you enjoyed this review comment on any teas that you want me to try loose sleeve or tea bag i am accepting any offers i'm also going to be shipping tea from across the pond so whatever suggestions you have or whatever videos you would like me to make a review on whether it's product reviews, tea reviews, wine reviews, book reviews, all those things will be coming to this channel pretty soon. And subscribe to the channel if you enjoy. And I will catch you in another video. Peace.